Kayla is a girl America. And girls, I call you that because I don't think you look like lizards. Far from it. And she has just thrown on a robe to go answer her door. She opens it up and she says, Oh, hi, Molly. And it sounds kind of muffled. Yes, she's uh, got some duct tape across her mouth. So she carefully removes that uh, duct tape. And she has to explain to her friend Molly, uh, yeah, when I make love, uh, I will call out Melton's name in the middle of everything. And this helps with that. And Molly says, oh, I see. Here's that uh, shirtless, handsome, bald guy poster that uh, you were asking about the new one. And then uh, Molly leaves. And uh, when Kayla closes the door, uh, Kayla... Kayla's uh, other uh, girl American, Carrie, comes walking out of the bedroom, the thigh high, high heeled boots, uh, and leather lingerie on, and she says, Do you think she believed you? And uh, Kayla says, oh, yeah. And uh, not only that, she brought over another shirtless, handsome, ball guy poster. She opens it up and shows it to uh, herself and Carrie. And she says, oh, man, look at that. Melton is so handsome, and he's so talented, too. You know his graphic art is beautiful, but, man, just look at that. He is so handsome. And, yeah, uh, Carrie puts that uh, duct tape back over uh, Kayla's mouth. Oh, uh, both girl Americans and, you know, guys out there, when they call out my name, just you know, think of it as a compliment. You're doing a really good job. Oh, I was supposed to have uh, my shirt was handsome ball guy card up for the poster, but you get the picture. And yes, uh, don't uh, let jealousy interfere with uh, something very good. If she's got that nice shirtless handsome ball guy poster in the bedroom, you're going to be in the bedroom more often, if you know what I mean. So, um... Uh, Get, uh, get her the posters, and uh, soon there'll be another set of graphic art photos from uh, last month, this month, the last day of the month, August 2018. Soon there'll be a whole bunch of imagery. I get her the graphic art photos, and... Uh, 
He'll wait a little bit as he enjoys the photos and then ask him if he would like to go to bed a little early at night. Oh yes, I tell those beautiful blonde and near blonde girls of those college campuses that uh, they can be in Melbourne Cemetery. They can let me define graphic art with their beauty. But they got to come see me in person because the devil steals your call. Serious part here. Make that video whatever you get. When you don't get me, melt. 424-229-4140. That's your life. I'm not working and not knowing when else it won't be allowed to work. I've been asking for a 911 Flight 93 check of America's Lifelines. That you calling me up and saying, oh, good, my phone works all the time. I haven't gotten one in a decade of asking. I think you can guess it political, religious, century shit. If politically correct, terrorism stops your phone from working when you need a fireman, police, paramedics, it's going to be just as newsworthy as me asking. Four and ninety three check for a decade now and not getting one. It's more than just my gate's livelihood of graphic art, it's my gate's livelihood of uh, a building, Jesus is a Maclet house here on earth. When you can't call me up to tell me what you believe, doesn't have to be anything you hear in church, guys. You can't call me up to ask what I mean by Jesus is a Maclet house here on earth. Yeah, that's really the censorship, the kind that can attack us from the outside with a whole lot of cowardly Husseins, and then attack us from the inside with politically. It's early in a, a blue-eyed DNA and brown-eyed DNA fighting it out. Attack us from the inside with politi politically correct terrorism. I'm going to say it again just to uh, make sure you can hear it. Politically correct terrorism. That's what that is. And I said placed, I mean placed with the cowardly Hussein and also the buffoon Russian guy Trump as well. Whatever boring thing you get when you try to call me, 424-229-4140. It's not going to be boring when you need the firemen, the police, and paramedics. And yeah, it's going to be just as newsworthy if it's because of political, religious, and business censorship. Whatever censorship. Politically correct folks sending a message in America. Whatever the reason for your phone not working, it's going to be just as newsworthy as me asking for a 911 flight 93 check for a decade and not getting one. Whatever one thing you get, phone ringing, every message is busy, so it's not going to be boring if you need the fireman, police, paramedics. And it's uh, money out of your pocket every day it, if you're calling up countless other customers, you get that boring thing. It's your Gates livelihood, so you know, Microsoft and uh, Gates get the, the money in the uh, computer industry and they can be the leaders of the computer industry, slowing it down. Spectrum, as you've heard during this parable, so it must be a good one. Can get the money into cable and internet business. Whatever's the big name in your business, so they can get the business. But uh, it's also about the politics there, even though we, a lot of us don't care about politics. Uh, it's all one big show. Until they place the cowardly Hussein in our White House, right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. And how'd they do that? Well, a whole bunch of folks uh, 10 years ago were calling up and saying, Hey, everybody, they're placing a cowardly Hussein in our White House. That can't be good. Right after 9 11, when we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. They're placing that cowardly who's saying whatever you do, don't vote for him, and make sure you tell all your friends not to vote for him, everyone you know. 
if you were doing that calling up a whole lot of folks and you got a whole lot of busy signals phone ringing error message you get to leave the matches but they don't get the message yeah that's how politically correct terrorism can place a cowardly who's in a no white house we need to stop that we the people must be the reporters we can get rid of every reporter we got because they're not doing the job we can start by making a video if you're hijacked call to me whoever's in the room there with you 424-229-4140 Try to call me and make a video of whatever boring thing you get. Those who are hijacking your call to me. Yes, politically correct terrorists. Uh, they, see I can say it. They are worried enough about hijacking America's lifelines. They're crying so hijacking America's lifelines. Worried enough about it to alter phone records covered up. I put videos of my call log, all calls to and from this phone on youtube.com slash DNFD series and some of you out there can get the call records yourself. Make those calls. Uh, try to call me with a 91593 check from all military bases across America and beyond and uh, all fire stations, all police stations, oh, all uh, priests of your church goers phones and your own those are your your flocks lifelines when they're in church make those videos post those videos whatever you get when you don't get me because they're worried enough about it to alter phone records covered up but you got the time stamp on your phone you got the number top you got uh, video proof of phone gate which is much worse than watergate or any other political scandal because it uh, involves all of our lifelines, all of America's lifelines. Let's see that phone you're making a video of as every child in America's lifeline to the firemen, the police, and the paramedics and make a video of being hijacked. And yes, it doesn't matter. If the guy who's stealing your call to me right now or when you need to fire him place paramedics doesn't matter if he's in a dirty bed sheet with a scraggly beard or he's someone who's very clean shaven and was placed in the highest office in the land went to harvard and then was placed in the harvard highest office in the land it doesn't it politically correct terrorists uh, it doesn't matter who is hijacking your call to me right now and you don't know when else your phone won't be allowed to work it is just that terrorism. Ask and answer Jesus' question, is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? He certainly sounds like a terrorist. They don't name him Hussein unless they're Muslim guys. Oh, that's a genetic wound. Uh, it's from the inside, uh, not from outside uh, efforts. I'm going to show you the eyes that are changing. But they have nothing to do with your phone not working. They have something to do with me not being able to pronounce uh, politically correct terrorism every once in a while, but I can I can say it every once in a while as well. But uh, ask and answer. I've got my my answer. I've been asking for a decade for that first nine eleven flight nine three check. That includes all of those uh, eight years of that terrorist cell they called a uh, administration and administration. That's an answer right now. You can call it a Trump. Question if you want. Is Trump a terrorist? Uh, I know some of you can be very uh, wholehearted about your politics. Uh, so take your pick. A lot of us, uh, the others, we, we realize they're all one big show. But uh, we need to uh, affect that to a certain point where our, our lifelines aren't being hijacked. So we got to get our hands dirty with that politics kind of thing and be the reporter. 424-229-4140. Make the video, post the video, whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me and tell the world. You try to call Milton too.
they're worried enough about hijacking our calls to him to alter phone words, cover it up. Ask and answer Jesus' questions. Oh, not only about that, uh, I've had some trouble with my computer lately. Windows seems to want to break my computers every once in a while. They've already breaking, broken two of them. So, uh, ask and answer is Bill Gates a traitor to his country? You see Microsoft handing out computers somewhere, patting themselves on the back. You try to call me up in front of them. I spent the uh, better part of a day trying to get a computer working that uh, after the... Oh, and it's eventually turned into one of the paperweights. The two paperweights I have. Um, they can reach me by phone. Ask them how they do that. Try to call me up when you see them doing a PR campaign kind of thing for their company, try to call me, ask and answer Jesus' this question, is Bill Gates and Microsoft traitors to their country? Get their reaction, post. Things aren't going to change until you pull things out into life. Good folks aren't going to have a problem with you demonstrating America's hijack lifelines to them. Bad ones, they're going to get angry, they're going to have a story to tell. I've got a lot of folks that I say check and post in five, with some, it's more personal than with others, like the Mormons, the Latter-day Sinners, a spectrum next door with their decibel law-breaking fleet. That seems to pipe up whenever I'm making a good uh, parable. But LAC, USA Cake Medical, for example, they can reach me by phone. No, they can't talk about the change in eyes. They can't talk about the 93 checks. But... Uh, they can, 179, reach me by phone, ask them if, uh, you know, they say that that's terrible. You should be able to reach the man by phone. That's one thing. If they get angry, that they have a story to tell. City of Santa Monica underemployed me for years before I, uh, 2007, 2014, before I ended up in the hospital with those uh, gory looking wounds and 80 pounds lighter. So they can reach me by phone, obviously, to do that. The better employers, graphic art employers, can reach me by phone to employ me. So make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines and post it. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Come see me in person, have wit. <coughs> excuse me again. Have wit will travel. Show me the perfect place to build. Jesus is a back on house here on earth. I can design some cool imagery, but you gotta come see me in person. And yes, uh, my real occupation, building Jesus is a back on house. You can call it a Christ complex if you want. A big uh, complex of uh, cities, communities, really, not just those places you go to on Sunday. Tell that joke you got perfectly just once, you never have to tell it again, just get it on video, have it on your phone, your computer, your YouTube, or any other social media website, you never have to tell it again, unless of course you want to make it better. Also goes for the serious stuff, what you believe in. Put it on video too, and show the world. This is the eye from 2013, March of 2013. It is a little brighter than this in the new photos. This is the photo I printed out. A little brighter right here with this stuff. But this is generally what the eye looked like for most of my life. They started changing in 96, but they still look like that. Uh, the vision improved so much. And then... Uh, and uh, about a year later, before I went into the hospital, this is what the eyes looked like. Smaller brown circus slowly disappearing, bigger blue circus growing in through and around. New eyes are the uh, the bigger eyes, so that at times the uh, lids will lift up a little bit. Probably not to this morning, because I got the, uh, I just uh, got up. Oh, that politically correct uh, terrorist thing is uh, 
It's very handy because those are some nice folks, or at least that's what they're pretending to be, a whole lot of them. But if it all breaks down, if you say, why can't I read smell? When else will my phone not be allowed to work? That's that, uh, what I call the Mideast PR campaign, the Osama PR campaign in the news media, perhaps. And uh, Hollywood with a whole lot of TV shows and movies. You ask those folks who are very politically correct. Uh, why can't I reach this man? When else will my phone not be allowed to work? Best of those reporters, what are you doing about that? Yeah, it can't be more white, more uh, white is, it can't be more brown is, that part in the middle there. Outer circle there is uh, a gone. And the inner circle, that white part's working on it. For about a year, a little over a year. I've been taking the vitamins and uh, it seems to help. Do you know what's going on? Come tell me. If you're a good doctor, perhaps you can talk about the eyes. I'm right here. The Immaculate Apartment, 4260 Grant Boulevard, Apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 9006. Oh, good news, I'm waiting on gold to be picked up to be uh, worked on. A couple of bolts off the left wheel. Oh, uh, one landed right down there. I'm not sure how long ago. A week. And I didn't know where it was from. I looked on the chairs, I looked on the table there. And uh, then a few days ago, I was making the bed and looked down, and there were the, uh, the empty. Uh, places where the uh, the bolts go. Now you don't know. I don't know. If there are some politically correct terrorists. Oh, they have a huge uh, Muslim-looking uh, or uh, a Muslim-looking presence here at uh, this apartment complex. You don't know if someone was in here unbolting those uh, bolts loosening them up or not but you do know your family's lifeline isn't working as you try to call me make a video of that politically correct terrorist hijacking your phone post 424-229-4140 make that video post that video whatever you get when you don't get me john number certify email if you want no mail and a decade of asking about the Osama rumor. That's a tense getting that Obama is Osama's son. Put the two side by side and check out the eyes and don't be a hater. They're mixing things up all over the place. You can't have it both ways. No certified mail about the 93 checks, more importantly. Make that video whatever you get when you don't get me posted. Certified mail, your mail if you want, you FedEx, UPS, any private carrier. None from them either, as well as the U.S. Post Office, certify that mail. Make a video of it before you send it. It's going to be stolen. And, uh, yeah, it takes five minutes to make the video of whatever you get when you don't get me. 424-229-4140. Make that video, post that video. Oh, I said they, they got a, a, a big... Muslim looking presence in Eagle Rock. They've also got a big uh, Mormon looking. And uh, yeah, I had to put on a couple of images I had to remove. From my, uh, I was 25 minutes. From my, what I'm preparing for August 2018, I had to remove them because I went to the computer. I went to my phone, this phone, and Googled. Because I didn't want to turn my big computer on with the internet. I was in the bedroom designing and I got the wrong date for one of my signs. So I literally had to redo it and uh, 
It's on a GIMP program, there's no problem with that, but it's one man working alone. That day being shaved away, the less that I can do elsewhere, and aggravating, yes, and it's folks who hate. And I'm pretty sure, you know, it's more the uh, LDS, Larry Day Center, it's a Mormon kind of thing than anything else. I, I call it a harbinger of the apocalypse. Pod people, Mormons, with uh, I take toys and other uh, stuff up the streets. Now that's enough of me. I'm gone on for 25 minutes. I'm a sitcom. Remember the serious message taken post in 5 424 229 And make those documentaries of folks actively involved in disinformation and whatever it is you might call it, run around with guys who are bald or not even bald and uh, claiming to be me and telling you not to go to uh, apartment 409 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard come see me anyway walk through that great wall of evil and let's get started building a better world those thousand points of light to inspire the future and present to greatness with yes uh you you don't have to call it uh Jesus says in Michael Tyson, call an opportunity has an opportunity for a whole lot of good businessmen, honest businessmen, all over the world to build a better world. But, um, yeah, it's in the fine print, I have to tell you. It's Jesus says in Michael House. There will be a test at the end. I hear it's pass, fail, and purgatory.